What up, what up, what up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 25 online rank match. And today, I have the Coats, man. We are going up against the Cleveland Browns. Yes, the Browns. Somebody actually chose the Browns. Now, it's not like Mutt where teams can make a difference. Online rank matches, you know, for the most part, if you know what you're doing, you can be successful. You know, I've chosen the Browns a lot and just whooped on people. Didn't matter what the team they had. So, you know, when he picked the Browns, I was a little nervous. Well, okay, I definitely feel like he, he has to know what he's doing. Because the Browns are a team that the team doesn't help you out too much. You really need to know what you're doing in order to be successful with that team. So, um, this right here was during the live stream. So, you are going to see popping up uh, whenever people followed um, while during the live stream. That will just keep popping up and you'll see that randomly throughout the video. So, uh, that's where that's from so link is in the description if you guys want to see me play these games live You know just go come on through hang out. Uh, there it is right there. Bam that guy just followed as his play was going on So, uh, like I said, man, i um, definitely going ahead show love twitch.tv slash mr. Golden sports Come on through and watch these games live. So having the coats man, I definitely love the explosiveness that they have on offense with Hilton Wayne Bradshaw Richardson as we go all the way into the end zone right there um, obviously, Andrew Luck, Fleener. Um, did I mention Hilton Wayne and Bay? And just weapons all over the place, right? So, on defense, I noticed immediately that the guy has like a super custom. You know what I mean? Uh, he was no huddling a lot, keeping me off guard. Um, you know, he had um, some pistol mixed in with like some five wide. And it, it was just very, very frustrating, right? He goes deep up top, and he ends up just outrunning me right there. With Benjamin catch me really not paying attention in the slot. So good job by him. So second and seven right here. Standing inside the pocket. We caused an incompletion. Third and seven. Let's see if we can make something happen. And he hits me with just a really quick play over the middle on top of roughing the passer. So he's able to advance that 15 plus more. So, uh, you know, like I said, I, I can tell, you know, right away uh, as he hits me with the strong power right there. Right away he knew what he was doing. Like I said, when somebody picks the Browns. Especially where, where, when you are at the level that I'm at, and I go up against a lot of, um, you know, pretty, uh, pretty good opponents. You know, this guy was in the top 100, and uh, so you know he matched up pretty quickly while we were looking for skill points. Was like, okay, I, I know I'm gonna be in for a grind. I know, you know, he's, he's got to know what he's doing. You know, choosing that team. So uh, back again offensively, haven't really passed the ball yet. No need to. You know, as long as I can continue to have success on the ground. Really no need for me to pass. But check this out. Second play, I decided to pass. And look, it's all out fag D. He hits me with the 1-1-9 one, one, defense. And I kind of noticed it. And right there, I'm like, all right. He's he's the type of guy who's just going to go in all out fag D in passing situations. I cannot afford to put myself in passing situations. I just can't. As we get a luck and we hit the outside. And he can go Oh, the way. As we get into the end zone, man, this right here is just such an absolute phenomenal game. Like I said, man, a lot of people seen it live. Definitely follow the live stream uh, if you guys have not already. So, um, you know, like I said, once I see this, okay, I got to get myself not in passing situations. I don't want to be any third and eights. And he third and 12s because I already know the defense he's going to do. You know, I come on four wide one time and he straight only rushed one to put everybody in coverage. So, you know, I got to avoid that. You know what I mean? As long as I can continue running the ball successfully, I, I feel like I can be okay. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, the Colts definitely have a phenomenal offense. Defense, you know, they're they're okay. You know, they're, they're not a defense like the 49ers or Seahawks where they can do so much for you. You know what I mean? Uh, Coats are a good defense if you know what you are doing on defense. It's a bamboo. But thankfully, uh, he recovers. For him, I should say. Thankfully for him. Uh, like I was saying, man, Coats is, is a defense where if you put the people in place, they will make plays. But when you have an ass defense like me, it tends to give you, uh, you know, trouble. So, you know, this is just your classic GS grind game where I can't stop him. He can't stop me. We're just really going back and forth. And it, it might come down to who uh, really can force a mistake. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble stopping him. His custom playbook is, is really giving me issues, man. Like I said, he's got a really nice set of pistol mixed up with some really good passing plays. And it's just really uh, confusing me right there. He decides to run and he actually gets the first down right there. And that right there is frustrating. You know, every time I got him in a third down situation, he always converted. He did a tremendous job of coming through. And picking up first down when he needed, you know what I mean. Offensively, the the kid was very uh, difficult for me to stop. You know what I mean. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. 
He completely confused me offensively. He completely just uh, abused me. You know, I, I really had difficulty stopping him. So uh, right here, man, we try to go to a modified screen, and we get a good amount of yards right here. So uh, one of the few passes I wanted to do was just really quick, um, you know, screens and stuff like that. I don't really want to sit back in the pocket too long because, like I said, with the defense, I know he's going to call. Now the defense I really want to go up against. You guys know I struggle with Fag D heavily. So, uh, again, you know, just continue pounding the rock, man. Right there again, as you see, Fag D after writing the coverage. Just a bad throw by me. Uh, Should have known better what to expect. You know what I mean? Again, he has the 1-1-9 one, one, defense. And I struggle with it a lot. You know, some people can chew Fag D up like nothing. Me, I've never been able to do that. I've always struggled with it uh, when I decide to pass. It's just always giving me problems. And... Um, similar results this game. You know, whenever I decided to drop back and pass and he was in that 1-1-9 coverage, I uh, struggled. You know what I mean? So, uh, again, got to keep myself out of those situations, man. So, with no timeouts remaining right here, not too much time left. Uh, we don't have too many things to really try and do. I try and outrub, but it's dropped. And then, uh, really, just the last play, and he still goes to his 1-1-9 defense. And we just chuck it up, hope for the best, but we don't get anything. Um, so we're going to have time with the tie game. He does receive ball. So, you know, like I said, man, it's tit for tat. Um, we haven't stopped each other yet until last drive he stopped me. Then I stopped him, got the ball right back. So, uh, you know, like I said, we're just going back and forth. And right now I'm just hoping for something to go my way. Fumble, interception, turn on run downs, a punt, something. I need something to go my way because he is just uh, doing an excellent job moving the ball offensively. And I just can't seem to put my finger on exactly what it is he's doing. He's got so many different plays and no huddles and, and formations that he's just really just killing me with it. Third and two, man. We get a huge sack. Fourth down. Of course, he's going to go for it. And right here, don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please give that gentleman a link to my channel. Let him know. Do not throw the ball my way. Then the very next play. We end up finding Trent Richardson. Now, he was hitting me with the stiff arm. So, of course, I put in Richardson's like, you know what? You do it to me. I'm going to do it back. So, I go on ahead and I start doing it myself. Um, if you don't do it to me, I won't do it to you. You know, straight up. Uh, if I see you hitting it, you know, you hit me with the tiger a couple times. If I got somebody capable of doing it, I'm going to do it right back to you. So, that's the case. You know, he's got Willis McGahee who's got a tremendous stiff arm. Who's very capable of doing it. And the last drive, he did it to me like three times. And uh, it's like, you know what? Okay, you do it to me. I'm going to do it back to you. So um, I, you will see me periodically uh, running with Trent Richardson instead of Bradshaw um, just to get that Tiger effect. So 21-14, man. One more stop. I feel like we're good. Uh, big hit right there. Second and seven right here. Um, he's just really, really doing a good job of mixing everything up. I thought I was in position for a SWAT. Held the SWAT. All I did was put my hands up. Got no animation. So uh, that right there was definitely frustrating. So, but like I said, I feel comfort, comfortable on offense. I really don't feel like he's going to stop me. You know, uh, I'm just running the ball down his throat. He really doesn't have an answer for the run game at all. You know, I'm getting, you know, 8, 10, 12 yards a chunk. And I'm just really not being slowed down. Tiger! <laughs> at all. You know what I mean? I'm just really ramming the ball down his throat. And he has no answer for it. Same way I don't have no answer for his offense. You know what I mean? So, uh, thankfully, we got that one mistake we needed to give us the lead. And I feel like I just need one more mistake to be able to uh, win this game. So uh, we end up going to Andrew Luck against the second rushing touchdown of the game. I believe that's the second. So 28 to 21, fourth quarter is here. You know, uh, one more mistake, man. Right here, I feel like I made a mistake. Uh, I went for the swap, but <coughs> if you guys were there in the live stream, you guys remember me saying that uh, I didn't realize I was going to be that close. You know, I went for the swap thinking he had a huge gap of me on me. And then once I... Uh, went into the air to swat it i was like no i didn't realize i was going to be that close i possibly could have intercepted it you know uh, i was a lot closer than what i thought i was going to be to the ball and uh it was just frustrating to possibly let an interception go so you know he's like i said man he's mixing it up man doing a good job of running he's coming out in strong the, the same run i use you know strong power o um, which is a, a tough run to stop if you don't know how to deal with it. On top of him using a stiff arm, uh, it's definitely a headache. And he's going to a lot of quick short routes, quick angle routes from the backfield, drags, a lot of things that are getting underneath the zones that I am calling. You know, every time I call man-to-man, -man, he had his quick reads. He, he just has a very, very, very good idea on what he's doing offensively. 
And it, it, for me, it, it was very tough to stop. So right now, I feel like game is over. You know what I mean? He's not going to be able to stop me. And of course, he comes on an onside kick. I'm trying to audible. is not letting me. And I'm like, oh, please don't let this guy get it. Thankfully, I recover. And then this happens. It's a bamboo. And right now, I'm thinking to myself, you, you, you got to be kidding me, right? Right? Like, did I really possibly just lose this game due to an onside fumble? Like, is this how this game is, is going to end? Like, uh, and I, I know the onside kick wasn't a strategic move due to the, you know, try to shorten the field so I couldn't clock him. I know that wasn't the case. He did it because he knew he couldn't stop me. He knew he couldn't stop me. I, I knew an onside kick was coming, but I just went ahead and selected, you know, kickoff just way too quickly due to just pure reaction. And I don't have my hands team out there. I fumbled. He recovers. And now he, he scored a touchdown. So I still have an opportunity to, uh, you know, win this game. A touchdown wins because he went for two and I stopped him. I have a couple of timeouts, man, with 20 seconds. But look at the defense. One man rush. He gets in. He sacks me. And I don't have much time left. And with everybody in coverage, it's tough to find somebody on top of him getting one guy coming both times quickly. So, um,. Uh, we end up losing the game, man. We go for it on fourth down. We don't have a shot. There's only a couple seconds remaining. We go for it, and we don't get it. So that's the end of the game, guys. The, the guy, even though he played a lot of fagdy, which was definitely frustrating. I hate when people do that. Offensively, he did the damn thing. I couldn't stop him. Even I couldn't. Um, we fumbled, unfortunately, on the on the um, on side, and that's what was the game changer. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Can't win them all. We are out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.